Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of... Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Oh, law, that's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Captain, this is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family. Do we get a table, stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Careful now, wine's deceptive. Only time I've come close to a medical emergency was when I found a brand of wine that agreed with my tastes. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Yeah, 
I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about you, Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. Kid, if you keep cowering from your target, afraid to pull the trigger, eventually it'll dash off and leave you wondering what it would have tasted like for the rest of your life. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. You know, that's a given, Captain. I can't not worry myself to bits about the things that matter to me. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Well, maybe, maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences, in a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right, I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Sensible, Cap. Starting her off slow. Else she might be sick in the unreliable's engine. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um... Everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What if I can't make her happy? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? All right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. 
Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Parvati, if you want a drink and a shoulder, you ask me any day or night of the week. I'll likely have already started. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. I'm real sorry about your friends, Mioka. Ain't no one deserves to go like that. Certainly not folks just trying to get by. Thanks for saying that. You know, after seeing so many people get chomped, trip into sulfur pools, shot by marauders, I always figured we'd die young. But just because you expect it doesn't make it any easier. Oh, shit. Next chance we get, I'm buying you a Spectrum bottle so we can proper drown this melancholy. Oh, I didn't get a chance to try Spectrum when we went out drinking. Is it any good? It is, without a doubt, the worst, most foul liquid mankind has ever had the misfortune to invent. You'll love it. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required ever... Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged Jun Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain.